Okay, really quickly, I just wanted to jump on here too and say, as we talk about oils um, tonight and we try to impart some of our mama wisdom to you and our experience, we are only talking about Young Living Essential Oils. Um, I have seen oils out at Marshall's and the grocery store and the dollar store and they're really popular right now. A lot of other companies are going, hey, we have oils now. and. Um, it's, it's a little bit of a scary marketplace, to be completely honest. Um, essential oils are not regulated by the FDA. The FDA regulates claims we can make and things we can say um, when teaching on the oils and talking with you about the oils, um, but they do not regulate what is in those bottles. So anyone can put 100% pure lavender oil on a bottle um, and only have this much pure lavender oil in it and additives and the rest. And the other thing that we like to look at too is farming practices, right? So if you get oils from somewhere that does not assure you that they do not use pesticides, um, th that's, that's kind of counterintuitive, right? So we're, we're looking for a more natural approach to our health and our wellness. But if our oils were sprayed with chemicals, then it's just it's not going to be good. So um, with other oil brands, um, again, I'm not claiming that they're all junk. A lot of them are junk. So just be really careful with your research. Um, I did a lot of research before um, jumping on with Young Living almost three years ago, and the company has proven themselves over and over again. Um, if you want more information about their guarantees and their farming practices and the testing that they do on their oils, um, you can head over to seedtoseal.com. Um, it's got the farms, it's got their addresses, their phone numbers, they have complete open door policy where you could stop in and go see them. Um, I've been to some of the farms. Abby Ruth came with me when she was about four weeks old um, to one of the farms um, in Utah. So um, I've been there, I've seen it in action, and it's, it's awesome, it's awesome. And no chemicals, they're putting the seeds in the ground. I got to plant um, little seedlings and see the greenhouses and the fields, and uh, it's incredible. And so um, you just really wanna be careful with some of that. The other thing with, with, with cheap oils, honestly, is, um, I say the, at the best case scenario, you're gonna get an oil that's not effective. It's just, it's not gonna help your body as much do what that oil, that plant was created to do um, and that you, you kind of paid for and that you're looking at. And so you might just get an ineffective oil that's been really watered down. Um, at worst, you're gonna get a harmful oil. You're gonna get an oil that's had additives. You're gonna get an oil that's synthetic. Um, even synthetic oils can be labeled pure. <laughs> So um, just, we really want you to be careful and we really want you to understand um, a lot about Young Living and why we're so passionate um, about the company and their promises and all their guarantees. So if you have any more questions about quality or you want to know more about the testing or some of the other things that kind of go into our decision of which oils to use, please, please, please ask us. We have all that information. We just didn't want to make a 20 minute video about about Young Living. So anyway, um, hope that clears things up too um, and that that's what we're, we're speaking about our experiences with Young Living Essential Oils. Okay, thanks!